So after we mix our salt, pepper, and garlic powder into our flour, we're going to mix our beef cubes into our flour mixture. Covering it like this. You then transfer it to the hot oil or medium heat. and brown it on all sides. I only put enough beef in your pan that it can cover the bottom of the pan. Don't crowd the pan, so you might have to do it in a couple of batches. Brown the beef on all sides, not cooking it thoroughly. Chop two medium sized onions. You then soften the onions that you chopped in the same oil that you browned the meat in. You might have to add a little bit more oil while you're browning the meat. But try to use the same oil that you browned the meat in. For about five minutes, you soften the onions that you just... You then lower your heat to low and add one fourth cup of flour. Stirring for about a minute or two. Then you add about a teaspoon of garlic and just keep mixing. After your one cup of red wine, then you add three cups of beef broth. Still on low to I'm also going to add one bay leaf to this. After adding the one bay leaf, you add your beef. <clears throat> Add the temper up just a little bit <clears throat> and cover for one hour. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm catching like a little slight cold. <clears throat> but you're going to cover for just one hour. Just let it have the temperature just, just above. So now, while that's cooking, covered on me, stir it often. But while that's going, we're going to go ahead and chop up our carrot, celery, and potatoes. So I did about four medium potatoes, four carrots, and four celery. So after like 10 minutes of cooking, it's going to start thickening up. So you want to cut it down to simmer, off of medium heat to simmer or low so it won't thicken too much and stir you want to stir quite often you're going to real thicken up on you then cover so this is how it look after an hour maybe an hour and 10 minutes and now we're going to add the curry itself You can add another cup of beef broth if it's too thick. And then you can. Okay, y'all, you just want to keep stirring it occasionally. 
and I added about 20 more minutes to mine because the bigger you cut your veggies, and I like mine real big, the longer it's going to take to cook because you're going to have it on low, remember? And you just want your veggies to be nice and tender, not too soft, but just nice and tender. So just keep it on low and check it occasionally and stir it. And if you have to add a little bit more time, just add a little more, more time. Yeah, and that'll take its time and cook, okay? Mmm, that look good. I told y'all I'm catching a cold. I'm trying to catch a cold. We're not going to claim it. And this beef stew. Mm, mm, mm. Nice big chunks of veggies and beef that we cold it before we cook. I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna be feeling good by tomorrow. Yes. So we're gonna let that cook for another 20 minutes and check those veggies again. Let's see if we need to add more time or is it gonna be just right? Now y'all see how my fork go through that potato? That's how I like mine. It's tender. It's not too soft. I don't want mine all soft. Now it depends on how tender you want yours. You'll let it cook a little longer. But that's just right for me. See? I like a little crunch to my beef stew. Look at that. Right through it. Not too soft, but not too hard. Nice and tender. That's how you know when it's time to cut it off. And whew, just eat and sleep. Eat and sleep. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, you know what? I'm going to fix me a bowl. And I tell y'all that this beef stew came out delicious. Oh my God, y'all. This beef stew is delicious. Y'all, try it. You be the judge. I'm telling y'all, it is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And give me your thoughts. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Try it, y'all. You have to try it. I'm going to eat. I got to go. I'll see you on the next E7 Kitchen. Bye. I'm going to eat.